In this problem, we're asked to decide, is x minus 2 a factor of this fourth degree polynomial here? And then we need to explain our reasoning. So remember, x minus 2 is a factor of f of x means exactly the same thing as x minus 2 equals 0 or x equals 2 is a 0 of a polynomial f of x. There are several different methods of showing this. The first method I'm going to show you is I'm going to divide x minus 2 into this polynomial. Since this is of the form x plus a number or x minus a number, it's much easier to use synthetic division rather than long division. So that's what I'm going to do. And x minus 2 will be a factor if when I divide my polynomial by x minus 2, I get a remainder of 0. So let's do synthetic division. Now remember, I need to put a number in the box up on the top left, and that is always the zero. It's not the number that goes in the factor. It's this number here. So I'm going to put a two there. And then all I have to do is strip off my coefficients. Are all my terms present? I have x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x in a constant. There's nobody missing. I don't have to put any zeros for missing terms. So what are my coefficients? 2, 1, negative 24, 20, and 16. So let's write those down. 2, 1, negative 24, 20, and 16. And now we're just going to do synthetic division. Remember, you bring down the first number, and then you multiply 2 times this number. 2 times 2 is 4, and write the answer up there. And then what you do is add those two numbers. 4 and 1 is 5. Now let's do the next one. 2 times 5 is 10. Add 10 and negative 24, I get negative 14. I'm not going to write any more arrows. It's going to get too confusing. So 2 times negative 14 is negative, whoops, negative 28. Add these two numbers. 20 minus 28 is negative 8. Last one, 2 times negative 8 is negative 16 that I'm going to write there. So it's negative 16. The last thing we do is add these two numbers up. And what's 16 minus 16? It is 0. So this is my remainder. And remember, if when you divide x minus 2 into the polynomial, and if the remainder is 0, it means that x minus 2 is a factor and your reasoning is when I do the division, the remainder is zero. The other method for doing this problem, so I just want to look at the other method for doing it. It doesn't matter which you use. All I have to do is, is x equals to a zero of the function? That means I go up to f of x, and wherever you see an x, you're going to have to put a two. And if when you evaluate the function at 2, you get 0, then you've proved that x minus 2 is a factor. So we're going to have to figure out what f of 2 is. So it's 2 times 2 to the 4th plus 2 cubed minus 24 times 2 squared plus 20 times 2 plus 16. So now it's just arithmetic. Remember, we do exponential first. So 2 to the 4th is 16. So it's 2 times 16. 2 cubed is 8. Minus 24 times 2 squared is 4. Plus 40 plus 16. So 2 times 16 is 32. 
plus 8 minus 24 times 4 is 96, plus 40 plus 16 is 56. So 32, let's add all my positive, 32 and 8 is 40, 40 and 56 is 96, 96 minus 96 is 0. So now I know that f of 2 equals 0, and since f of 2 equals 0, it means x equals 2 is a 0, so x minus 2 is a factor. Does it matter which method you use? No. But to me, this method, synthetic division, is so much easier. The arithmetic up here was a lot easier than the arithmetic down here.